Hi, it's Bobby Hart, and today we're talking about mask me. It's okay, you don't need to cringe anymore. I have a solution. So embarrassing to just have breakouts and inflammation on the skin after wearing a mask for some time, no matter how long, even for a few minutes, sometimes it happens. Isn't it so annoying? Well, guess what? I've got you covered. I figured out how to prevent mask knee. Mask knee is basically acne created from wearing a mask. So what do you do? It's so simple, so simple. And you don't even need to spend extra money. I got a paper towel and I got my mask. So this is all you have to do. When you're ready to go with your mask, fold a paper towel into the size that fits within the mask, then place the paper towel into the mask. See where it's, it's nice and fitted, you can't even tell that there's a paper towel in there. And you just place it on, <laughs> I'm gonna talk right now before I put it on, because it'll muffle me. But we're going to place it on top just and wear it like normal. It's really easy, see? After you're done wearing the mask, it's important to cleanse the skin thoroughly to prevent breakouts from happening as well. this method because the paper towel it really helps absorb all the sweat and everything that's on your face and it also kind of like dries the mask in general because a lot of masks the materials make it, it themselves can be irritating and it's hard to even kind of like breathe through it you know your skin so putting a paper towel really helps because it absorbs all that extra moisture that's in there so not only is it preventing that mask knee but it's also even creating an extra filter an extra filter between you know what's coming through the mask and going into your breathing so i love how it's just the you're getting the best of both worlds here and it's so easy and simple and you don't really have to even spend extra money now, in addition to the paper towel, a great way to prevent the mask knee is just be mindful of what you're doing that day when you're wearing the mask. For example, if you know that you're not going to be in the sun, you don't have to wear as much moisturizer as you normally would because this is kind of creating extra moisturizer on your face. So on the areas that are not exposed, you don't really even need to put extra moisturizer. Just make sure your skin is moisturized in general so that way when you're wearing the mask, you don't have to put so much moisturizer because then that'll clog all the pores in there. Or if you know that you're gonna be in the sun and you're wearing a hat or whatever and you know you're just not gonna expose this part of your face out in the sun, then you don't even have to wear anything underneath because the mask is protecting your skin from the sun anyway. So that's another great way of thinking about how you're treating your skin while it's inside of the mask. Now, of course, some people are on um, medicated types of creams or whatnot, so uh, it does help to talk to your doctor, of course. This is just advice that has worked for me to prevent any additional skin problems that does happen while wearing the mask. Of course, sometimes we need to wear makeup under the mask depending on where we're going or whatnot. So 
when that happens, no big deal. Just use the paper towel and everything will be okay. I also recommend taking maybe a little bit of extra paper towels because once you take it off, I, I recommend taking it out, tossing it and putting a new paper towel in just because there might be some moisture in the paper towel and if you want to just keep it clean, you know, it, it would be beneficial to fold a brand new paper towel into the mask. Again, these are tips that have really been helping me and whenever I have followed these tips, I had awesome results, no additional skin issues from wearing the mask. And I know it's awesome because we're so close we're, we're getting closer, there's light at the end of the tunnel, the pandemic is still not over, but but it's we're getting closer, so hang in there, I know you can do it, we can all do it, and it does help, we, we still do have to wear masks here and there, so this does really help, and it, it does help boost the confidence, because we don't need extra maskne if we don't, if we don't, if we can avoid it, let's not have maskne in our lives. So there you go. Please like, share, subscribe. If it's adding value to you, let me know, comment, let me know how your experience is going with the masks and uh, this method and everything. And please like, share, subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. As always, Aubie Hart signing out. Keep following your hearts.